What's up, guys? This is Charlie, your writer from www.techinform.us, and today I'm here with a pretty straightforward video. Today's video is going to be about um, how to download the web browser Camino onto your Mac, just as the title suggests. So, um, I'm not even sure why I'm making this video. I just got bored and might as well just throw it out there. So, all you're going to need to do to download Camino is go over here to your web browser and go to a Google search, type in Camino. That's, that's spelled C A M I N O. So just type in Camino, then type in download Mac. Okay, so here you go. It'll, it should be a website called CaminoBrowser.org. This link will be in the description. So click on that. So here you go. Um, pretty simple. Here's a preview of what it looks like. So just go ahead and click this download link right here. And it'll download. It's only about a 15 megabyte file. It should take under a minute. So, so once you've downloaded it, just go ahead and you'll get, whoops, you'll get this disk image. If you don't know what a disk image is, it's basically the file or thing I should take it that is used to um down used to extract all your applications. So like if an application will come inside of a disk, disk image, just drag to your applications folder or something like that. So when you get your disk image, just go ahead and open it. If it does not open it automatically. And then here you go, you have your README, which I've read. Um, I highly suggest reading this, you know, just kind of browsing over it. Um, so that's the README. Here are some release notes. These are all pretty straightforward, like what features and new versions of Camino. Then here's your actual application. So what you're going to do is you want to drag this to your applications folder. Drag it in. It'll be a 47 megabyte application, but um, since it's in this image, it only the download will only be about 15 meg. So. Once you've downloaded that, I'll go to your applications folder or wherever you put it, and here it is, Camino. Um, it'll have this little, I don't even know what to call this, like a little globe and a little almost compass thing. So go ahead and open that. Just hit open, like always. And here it is. As you can see, you still have your bookmarks over here. Okay, so at the first boot of any Camino, um, I think it'll say this. For the best experience, update Flash. You're running an out-of-date version of Flash player, player, which may have security vulnerab vulnerabilities or st stability issues. Like all web browsers, Camino functions best when plugins such as Flash are up-to-date. We strongly recommend that you update the latest Flash. So, just go ahead and update it. Just click on this little link right here. It'll open. And as you can see, the um, uh, still have a little status bar down here for how it loads. So, just hit download. Pretty straightforward. Then it'll download. So my internet's being pretty slow. So I will talk to you guys when the download is 100% done. All right, so the download is completely done. So all you have to do is X out of this. Go to your down, go to your downloads folder. As you can see, it'll say install Flash Player. I mean, you do not have to do this, but it would make the most sense if you are going to seriously use this web browser, as I plan to do. Go ahead and type in your password. Install. Okay, so as you can see, it'll say, please close the applications to continue, Camino, Safari, and force quit all. Just go ahead and hit force quit all. Type in your password. There you go. It'll install. Pretty straightforward. Um, the, Actually, while the download was downloading, I actually thought of a reason why I was doing this that I'll put in the description. Um. There are actually a lot more steps to installing this web browser than most people would think. So, 
Um, as you can see, Flash Player is completely done. It says installation succeeded. Please restart all open web browsers to complete the installation. Just go ahead and hit done. As you can see, it made me force quit all the web browsers, so we don't have to restart any. So now that we're done with this, um, install Flash Player. We can go ahead and eject, eject the disk image and drag this to the trash. Go up here to Camino. Oh, here it is. I'm going to drag that to my apps folder. Open up this. Open up Camino. Um, then it says, because it was forced to quit, um, restore your previous pages. Your last Camino, Camino session closed unexpectedly. Would you like to restore the web pages you were previously viewing? It really does not matter which one you choose. I'm just going to hit don't restore. It's quicker. So, this is actually a very quick web browser. Um, as you can see, we have the bookmarks bar up here. We have the Camino info folder, the news, the Google, the Amazon. It's pretty, um, it's just like Safari, actually. Go ahead and hit Google. This is actually pretty fast. One thing I do like about this web browser is the little load time down here. So, uh, keep your eye out down here for um, when I open a page, like Amazon, as you can see down here. That goes. I remember the old Firefox used to have that. I really liked it, but Firefox got rid of it, so I guess I'll use this now. I don't know why. Just, this is a big deal for me. I love having this thing. So this is very quick. Um, the dragging off the bookmarks is actually different than... Um, so far, you cannot just drag them off of the screen. What you're gonna have to do to change your bookmarks is just go to um, whoops, that was way too far. Just go to um, where it says Camino preferences or Command comma. Then, uh, hmm. Okay, so maybe don't do that. Oh yeah, go to your bookmarks, show bookmarks manager. Then you can delete any um you know, bookmark you don't want, let's say I don't want social, you can hit delete, um, you can delete so shopping, delete that, so here's the bookmark bar, we can delete news, just pretty simple, very simple actually, so I like this web browser, um, I think I'm going to use it a lot. Uh, hope you guys like it. If you don't, leave a comment. Let me know why. Um, tell me your favorite browser and all that stuff. So, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helped anybody who needed it. Make sure to check out the website I write for at www.techinform.us. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash abnercus. That's abnercus. All the links will be down below. Like always, uh, make sure to check out my next video I make on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.